or anywhere else. Listen, don't try to knock me for making a pivot, much like Cardi B did when I was unfulfilled. Y'all be wanting to see me continue to look and feel unfulfilled. Unfulfilled. And that's Cap. If y'all want more slap from Joe, just say that, baby. <laughs> What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode. So Cardi B is fed up with Joe Biden. On Thursday, the Bronx rapper took to X Spaces to share her frustrations with all the criticism she's been receiving from Biden over her highly anticipated album. She says Joe Biden is obsessed with criticizing me up and down. It's really getting me frustrated because it's like, bro, leave me alone. I don't understand this about Joe Biden. First, you're always talking about how you got a source from Atlantic Records that be telling you about my album, and that's a lie. She then made it clear that only two people have her music, her and her music engineer, meaning Atlantic Records can't drop her album for her. She added that whenever she has meetings, there are no more than five people in the room, so it's impossible to get information out of her team. Every five, six months, you're comparing another female rapper towards me, you compare new artists, you compare old artists, you compare every single artist to me. She then went on to make some other allegations. View with that. Since, since your feelings were being hurt, how did you feel when she said that you quit on music? How did that make you feel? Because I know your passion, about um, your career. Well, I went through all of these different feelings. Okay. And then I went to try to take on... Um, I did go and try to take like an axe from a leaf. Like I wanted to leave something. Like I did try to, and I tried to take some melatonin, some sleeping pills. At 1.30 in the morning or um, afternoon? No, no, by, by, by this time, because I done went to the barber. I walked in, Clue was in the barber, so Clue now here, Cardi B, got, uh, cursing me out, fucking. Now I leave the barber. The barber who ain't never on spaces put the spaces up while I'm on the way out the door so he can finish here and Cardi be cursing me out as I walk out. So it's cool. So now I get back in the car. So at about six, I tried to go to sleep early when I okay. thought it was done. Uh, and I had a little bit of trouble. I had some trouble sleeping because. Well, no, before I say that, before I say that. Like, she used some words toward me, like, I give backhanded compliments. Uh, like, I'm, she said, I'm passive-aggressive. I say that I love people, but then I act shady. And she's not, she's not the first person to mention that. And where there's smoke, there's, there's normally fire. And because I've been through some, some therapy, like, I'll look myself in the mirror. I'll have the harsh look. If enough people are saying the same exact thing about you, then you do have to muster up the courage to look each one of them in the face and say, y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about, and maybe throw a SMD in there. That's what the therapist says. <laughs> <laughs> don't take that advice, Flip. So I took some melatonin to try to get some sleep. But I couldn't sleep because I had this question that was irking my mind. And it was, who the fuck do y'all be talking to out there? Oh, hold up now. Hold up. Hold up, man. Yeah, huh? Uh, get your shit off. Uh, Stop. I see that there are some narratives that people that are really famous have been trying to spin and I don't like any of it and I can't figure out who the fuck some of y'all think y'all are referring to, honestly. Y'all made me look up the word quit. And then y'all made me look up the word retired. So I want to be clear because there's some people out there that just know me from pod, and there's some people out there that just know me from blogs. I want to reintroduce myself to some of you out there. That's why I have my court clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all out there think that we are like peers. The quit narrative is lazy. It's lazy, it's unfounded, it's without basis, it is uneducated. Joseph Budden retired from music. Retired. My services were rendered. I did it. At every level you want to name, 
from mixtape to the digital wave to independent releases to being on good terms with your major to being on bad terms with your major to getting a nice bag from publishing to try to fight your way out of publishing for 17 years to, uh, from new label heads coming in to old label heads going out I've done this on every level. I have 17 projects out there, both solo and group. 17 full-length projects. That's when you had to have a third verse. I am positive that there are over 300,000 bars of mine to go out there listen to, to listen to, and please be clear, I retired as a better rapper than 97% of all of you. Each and every one of you. It is a small group of names that when I put this mic down, I felt y'all were better rappers than me. I'm not talking about artists. I'm talking about rappers. And on the artist front, listen, I'll take my BET award. I'll take my Vibe award. I'll take my Grammy nomination slash nominations and be fine. But y'all niggas out there that keep trying to manipulate truth. Y'all niggas out there that keep trying to rewrite history. Joe Budden didn't quit anything. I did it when it was good. I did it when it was bad. And then I left the Ponzi scheme. And y'all people that continue to be puppets, pawns, and peons of said Ponzi scheme just want to come at me a certain way. Uh-uh. I left to go figure out a way to make my voice slash instrument be a little more powerful than what it was being utilized as. Some of y'all might not know that about me. You might get all your Joe information from the shade room. So if you're young enough or just unaware, just know that my pen is respected enough. And Cardi B said that. This rant is not directed toward Cardi B. I want to be clear. She may have inspired it, but it's, I'm not talking to her. But she did say, hey, that nigga's nice, and he's good at what he does, and that's why it hurts. So I understand that. But just know most of these niggas watch how they speak to me because they already know what my pen does when it comes to this, when it comes to this thing here. I'm one of the forefathers of the digital revolution that we're seeing here. Uh, I'm one of the people with master level foresight and intuition. You don't get this far without that independently. I mean, I don't want to keep patting myself on the back here, but I just thought that we needed to find a way to quantify it. So let me help you guys. I, me, slash we sell more than most of the artists out there that listen to me per month. Silence. In case you were wondering why I have on this shirt. Some of y'all are thinking that we are the same and we are not. Per, as in every. Every, as in each, <laughs> and each, as in all, all of the months, <laughs> I drop and move more than most of y'all. So when, I, when it's time to talk music, I very rarely speak to the musicians because you musicians are puppets, pets, and pawns. And sensitive. And sensitive. I like to speak to the label people because they usually know a little more about what's happening with the delivery and execution of a product. But all of that, he quit, he quit, he quit. No, 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 no. I will not continue to let you misguide the public. Public, each one of us, me, them, and artists are all drivers of inventory. 
Don't be fooled by what that inventory might be. We're just drivers of inventory. We're going to go to the BT Awards. They're going to get all the money from the fucking medical lab people and all of the people. And they'll fucking bring it back. We're going to make a little song and they're going to put us in front of Popeyes or anywhere else. Listen, don't try to knock me for making a pivot, much like Cardi B did, when I was unfulfilled. Y'all be wanting to see me continue to look and feel unfulfilled. Unfulfilled. And that's Cap. If y'all want more slap from Joe, just say that, baby. <laughs> Hold up now. All you niggas that's like, yo, you put the pin down, yo, that's fucked up, I want to hit something. Just say that. But all of that manipulating people to think that something was a, a, a farce or a failure, I just want to let you know, you're reading the tea leaves the wrong way. That's peace. So, I'm just letting you cook, man. Yeah, no, listen, sure. listen, listen. I give grace because, unlike many of you fucking minions out there, it took me 20 years to get all of the middlemen far the fuck away from me. So in the record business, like y'all really don't know my temperature on things. Like it's a lot of miscommunication. Nobody knows how I feel. Actually, me and I used to just talk about this outside before the pot. Nobody really knows how I feel about anything mm -hmm. unless you come have a conversation to me. No, well, with me. Know why that is? There is no publicist to speak to, street team to speak to, record label executive to speak to, distributor to speak to. All of those middlemen that fucking leech and leech and leech off of y'all. I worked my entire career to get those straps up off of me. Y'all not going to mismanipulate that. No, 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 no. Y'all can DM me, and Cardi said this too. I am going to DM Cardi my number because she should have that line on me when she needs me. But the rest of y'all, be very clear. I gain absolutely nothing from talking about any of y'all niggas. I'm not looking for friendship from none of y'all out there. I move the way I move. If niggas got a problem with it, in the great words of, no pun, Cardi, if it's up, then it's stuck. When Drake drop a diss, I make a million dollars. None of y'all have that equity. Oh. <laughs> you gotta take a lap. What the fuck? No, it's too many people out there that think that I have something to gain from speaking highly or lowly about you niggas. That little box is reserved for him. I'm going to come in here and talk about that nigga diss track whether I like it or not. <laughs> it's happened too many times. That's going to be a good month. I'm sorry, Flip. <laughs> Flip got a head. Flip is hurt. Yeah, yeah. Flip is hurt. I can't believe. <laughs> wait, 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 wait for a minute. Let that flip on. <laughs> no, listen. The rest of y'all, the rest of y'all are not that. I don't want that to get confused. Honestly, I ain't looking for friendships with none of you niggas. I want to run my business, mind my business, and keep to myself with my people. That's what I want to do. Oh, and on top of that. Back to us being drivers of inventory, you better learn your value before somebody else learns it for you. Ooh. Be clear, very good the building that I come from is the build, it had to be in your blood. You had to get it, it had to be in your blood to get a deal. It was fucking Ghostface LL Method Man and all the older niggas at that fucking building. But outside of that, it was the greatest building with the greatest executives in the world. We talking about Julie, we talking about Kaiser, we talking about Pecos, we talking about Shakir, we talking about Leo, rest we talking about Kev, we talking rest in peace Shakir, we talking about Tina Davis. The list goes on and on and on and on. So you young fuckity fucks out there that have no idea that I ever even rap, some of y'all are my great grandchildren and grandchildren just by fucking design. She talking about somebody ain't got a mole in they fucking camp. I come from Def Jam, Universal, and everybody under Universal. Unfortunately for the artists and the pawns, the seats in the music business don't change very often. It's only y'all that change the spots. Everybody that I work with, they still got a great job. Still working this shit. 
The young people still rely on them to get it moving. Most of y'all out there have somebody in your camp slash crew that helped Joe Budden become what he was. I gotta like some of you niggas, even if I don't like you niggas. Mm. Feels good to be at Angie Barbecue. See Sam Crespo. Sam Crespo worked focus, nigga. Sam Crespo worked get right with me. Sam Crespo worked breathe. These are records none of y'all know. He has been working records for over 25 years. Hey, man, we you going to stop, man? Come on. Come on, Sam. In my talks. Y'all going to stop making it sound like Joe Budden failed and put a mic down. No, 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 no. And don't make me pick it up. And don't make me pick it up if I want to, if I happen to button, happen to need an extra revenue stream one month. You fucking fuckity fucks. <laughs> what? Nothing. Get your shit you on. You just camera. 